It may seem hard to put your finger on the return on investment for a membership like IRMA, but I'm here to tell you, in Illinois, it's not. The last two weeks, we discussed organized retail crime, sales tax fairness, and changes to Illinois' liquor laws. Today, let's look at two more issues that would not have been addressed without your support of IRMA. One applies to pharmacies and the other to all retailers. Pharmacies play a crucial role in providing primary health care and are vital to the well-being of Illinois citizens. IRMA has worked to ensure that pharmacists can practice to the fullest extent of their license. This has been demonstrated in IRMA securing a change so that pharmacy members may now provide immunizations for patients seven years of age or older. Prior to IRMA securing this change, the only vaccines allowed were Tdap and influenza and only for patients 10 to 13 years of age or older. For all retailers, there is the environmental issue of extended producer responsibility. While consumers today are more environmentally conscious than ever, retailers are at the forefront of finding environmental waste management solutions. This is why Irma has partnered with solid waste entities and environmental groups to create a new method of addressing extended producer responsibility legislation. The approach Irma has successfully pioneered shifts significant costs and liability away from retailers, yet accomplishes the same environmental goals. This model has been put in place for electronic waste, pharmaceutical waste, and it appears it will be adopted in future EPR legislation. Irma's successful legislation is potentially a model for the rest of the nation. These examples provide more evidence of how your Irma membership doesn't cost, it pays. Without ongoing meaningful support, Irma could not do what it does, and Illinois retailers would be negatively impacted. And always remember, Irma is here for you. So please don't hesitate to contact us at any time. We are here to help.